Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to the Forza Motorsport 6 NASCAR Expansion Pack DLC part number 20. We're trying out the spa track again, and as you saw, or if you didn't see the last part, I was offered a different car, and it was Jimmy Johnson's car, but because I accidentally removed uh, the game version of the 48, and I kind of replaced it with a custom one, and it kind of gave me uh, the custom one, and uh, it looks, honestly, it looks better. I like the, the, the yellow font, or 48 number, Just, I think it looks better, but... This is a great fan-made car, whoever made it, by the way. Shout out to them, because it's a damn good car. So, uh, difficulty and everything, like always, it's still on unbeatable. Uh, assists, everything's been the same for probably 10 parts now, maybe. I don't know, but... Uh, uh, Ma is just a grip expert, just to help us out. So, that's really it. So, uh, without further ado, let's just dive right in the race and uh, see what happens. I really want to get through this. This track is fun to drive. It's just... Um, AI is just insane here. Let's just get this race underway here. Three, two, one. Green flags that run away here. I'm gonna take this very this first corner extremely wide because they just like to do stupid things off the track, just like they're doing right now. And I'm getting completely just destroyed from behind. Not, I guess they're. I mean, oh my god. Oh goodness gracious! Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> There's just a big mess behind me. And now they're all messing up. They're sliding. They're wrecking each other. I don't know. <laughs> that was a big mess. We're gonna go up into P7, go through up this the El Rouge. Ooh, oh God, please car turn. Okay, that was probably like the worst uh, corner I could have possibly done with that part of the track, but we made it work. We're in P7. I'm gonna see what they can do ahead of me because this the first lap of, of these freaking tracks just absolutely insane. They're just so out of control. They're stupid. They're dumb. Well, I mean, I'm dumb too, but. Yeah, as you saw, somebody just got innocently dumped there, so now we're in the P6. Uh, really haven't been able to gain a spot legitimately. It's just been them just messing up so bad. So, I don't know. But as of right now, they're doing okay. I went a little bit wide that corner, but it's alright. And, uh, looks like they're gonna, they're gonna just, uh, chill for a bit, which is, that's nice, you know. I don't have to worry about avoiding a car, like Days of Thunder. Brad's going down pit road, so that's another spot we gain. I mean, still haven't been able to gain a spot legitimately, but that might be the first legitimate pass right there is that orange car just kind of just let me go. Just, I don't know, just you got scared. Just going to this first corner here. Going up that, you know, the hill or, you know, El Rouge. It is the best part of the track for me because that's the only part of the track I know I can gain a lot of ground on the AI drivers themselves. I'm scared what this white car is going to do, so I'm just going to try to get by him. And uh, we do just that. We drive right by him, off-roading a little bit, or get off the track a bit, but not a big deal. And now we're in P3, the, the position we need to get in order to advance. Can I catch the leaders? Probably not, but we'll try. Start lap three here. Not a whole lot's happened since the last time I was, you know, talking and just been trying to, you know, concentrate and focus. Yeah, we're slowly gaining on the leader a little bit. Again, it's just like other tracks in this game, just some parts I gain on them, other parts I don't. So I mean, just trying to ride out. Somebody's right behind me in fourth. We're probably going to pull away from going up this hill. And I think we do. And the 11 car stopped. I know it's 11 car because it's a custom car. So we get by them for a second. And uh, we are uh, in a viable position to potentially win this race. That sounds crazy because it is. But I'm going to really try to focus and concentrate again here and really just hit my mark because uh, it'll be pretty nice to win you know i mean very rarely does it ever happen so it's a uh, you know, i gotta enjoy it while it lasts because you never know when the last one may happen this is the last lap this is where this corner is going to determine if we have even a chance of winning this race we need to get through here well and see how much ground we can gain on them and uh, we get through there good again i mean we went off the track but that's nothing new in our resume of this entire race we do gain on the leader just a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Just the other parts of the track were just not good enough to keep up with them. So I think seconds is where we're going to be, but which kind of sucks. I thought maybe we could have had a better shot of uh, maybe win this race, but no, not re not really. And we fuck up that corner a little bit, so bye bye. Any chance of winning, it's over. Oh, oh, look at this! They go, oh my god, he went off the track. I spoke too soon. Yes, we got the lead. Okay, don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up, please. Go slow, take your time. 
Don't want to blow this opportunity away. Barely hang on the lead. Everybody's right behind me. This part of the track is one of the only ones we can kind of hang on our own here. So I really want to get through here nicely. And we are starting to pull, uh, pull away to about a about 200 foot gap, I believe, or 100 and something. We're going to get through that corner, go off the track a bit. It's okay. You know, we're extending the racing limits of the racetrack. Start slowing down here. And this race should be ours. Get through this hairpin very well so they don't run into me. And they don't. And coming out the final corner, uh, Baby Jesus has blessed us this race. And we're going to, you know, come across this race and we're going to friggin' win it. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, that is so freaking awesome. I didn't think I was going to get that win on the last side, but the leader choked. That was good shit. And the Passport Series 2 is fully completed. Oh my god, that is, uh, that's magical. That is magic right there. I'm surprised. I want to look at the lap time and see if we were on pace. And it looked like uh, we kind of were. Somewhat. Uh, we had a 22-minute, 20, 21-second, 9.55. The other one had a 2.21.7. 2.21.8. Uh, 2.21.3, uh, way back in 16th. So, we were okay. We were okay in terms of pace. We could have been way worse, but we were actually not that absolutely abysmal. So uh, let's just uh, head on to the next uh, series. And the next series is the A Lap of America, which is again going to be another five race little series. So we'll see what uh, what races they'll throw at us. Hopefully it's something I'm familiar with so I don't go into this completely blind and completely make a fool of myself. But then again, this whole entire series has been me making a fool of myself. So, All right, so we got this little uh, menu here and let's just click A and see what happens. Uh, we might be picking Tony Stewart or not. Okay, but we are going to Sonoma. I am familiar with this track. Now, I just want to look at the cars and make sure, like, maybe the game accidentally... No, Stuart's paint scheme is there, so the, if the game wanted to switch... Okay, so I guess the, the paint scheme, the, the game will tell us to change it just yet. So, we're going to go with Jimmy's one again. We're going to go into Sonoma. I'm looking forward to this because, one, we're not going on, like, no, no mods anymore. We're not going into this with simulation steering, so this potentially could be easier than the first one but don't hold yourself to that because you never know with this freaking game it keeps throwing me curves balls and uh, what to expect here we are here at sonoma it looks like it's obviously not going to be in the range so that's another uh, nice little thing another thing i don't have to worry about trying to master so uh, f as far as assist goes same as it was last race uh difficulty again still on unbeatable and also uh, uh mods we're just gonna leave it as that for now i mean do i really need it i mean i don't think I need the grip expert um, I mean I could use chassis to have you know less weight but uh, I don't really I mean oh my god look at that breaking expert 16 um hmm we got some interesting things here obviously some of these won't be used because they're for specific tracks but um uh we're gonna just leave it as it is see if we can hang on if it, if it gets really fucking bad next part we'll definitely use something else so let's get into this and uh, see what happens here i'm looking forward to it because i'm familiar with this track but then again i've done fucked up in the past year before let's get this race underway here three two one green flag is out we're underway here for six laps i remember that they just do weird things on the start here so i'm just going to anticipate it and i did a terrible job of that as i go off the track but we gain spots we're already up in the eighth and start slowing down, start slowing down. Please don't get run in over. Run in over? What? Please don't get run over from behind. And I surprisingly don't, so that was actually much better than I was anticipating. That makes me a little bit happy. And Casey King goes off track, hits the wall. You know, why not? Let's go into this corner here, start slowing down. I could go into first, but I'm just not going to do it. Um, but there we go. Just please, I don't want another Gibbs car running me over. I spoke too soon. I spoke too goddamn soon and Kenza get away from me. That's Edward's shtick, not yours. Oh my god, I swear the Gibbs cars have something out against me. They have to have like a a meeting every week and be like, okay, you know, we gotta piss off what if. Somehow, some way, some shape and form. That's how it has to be. And Edward slows up at that part of the track for whatever reason. We get fourth spot, one more position, and we'll be able to advance to the next race. So that's really all I'm concerned with. If I can get a win or do better than third, that's fine. That's that's funky dory, but uh, we'll just uh, 
you know, take whatever we can get in order to uh, finish this damn playthrough as quickly as possible before I die. Because <laughs> goddamn, this game is going to kill me as I see somebody off in the grass in the distance. White flags out one more time around the racetrack, been slowly but surely catching the 10 car up ahead of me here. As soon as I talk, I immediately make mistakes, but the driver, this driver, or, you know, the Harley Quinn car, constantly keeps, like, going off the track, like, around this part here, or at least after this, you know, corner, so I'm really banking on that driver, on Harley Quinn literally losing ground, and, uh, it happened again, they, uh, the heat, she just drove off track, so, she's doing her best Danica impression, and then it's, uh, kind of working, out in her favor, we gain on her just a little bit, we're just gonna try to maybe get the ground here, because they do weird things off the corner here, and it happened again, but it's just not enough. I don't know, I have to, I'm feeling a dive bomb's going to have to happen in order to advance, which is going to be a miracle, because that's going to mean that uh, for the first time, we're going to be able, able to potentially advance two times in a row, but I've choked away a lot of races, so I don't know. Get through here very well. Again, it's it's just uh, it's just not enough. And I just, I'm going to have to try it, I'm going to have to dive bomb and go a little bit deeper in this corner. And, oh my god, please, it's just not enough. Unless she, unless Danica slow, Danica, unless she slows up a lot through this like last corner here, that's my only chance. And it does happen a little bit, but it's not enough. Oh my god! Of course, you know, just, 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 just barely, just barely, I done fuck up. Oh my god! I mean, at least we advanced to another race. So that's something else. Look at that. I mean, it, it's like a baby growing. Like I'm progressing. Like it's just I'm slowly not turning into big shit, turning into little shit. That's really it for this uh, this race. I'm not gonna I'm gonna stop here. Do you like this livery? We noticed you liking it. Okay, I mean, I, I don't. I I mean I've only raced this like three four times. <laughs> I don't know. It's, okay, whatever. That's it for this race. Uh, not a whole lot more to go into. I just I'll leave it at that. Uh, as far as lap times, we were a little bit off, actually. We were faster than uh, second and third, but fourth was way faster than me, it looked like. But maybe next part will be a little bit better. We can get off to, a, I guess, a more profound start, because apparently starting off the race good is really important. So, yeah, that's it for this part. Uh, thank you for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate the love, feedback, and support. All you guys can be in the comment section below, and as well as liking the video, because that helps me out a lot in the long run. I will see you all when I do this track again and try to complete it. And as always, have a good day, everyone.